Hello everyone, it's Richie SkyNeso here with a short video on the coming DLC update 41 this Monday on PC. I will give you some tips on what you should do uh, to make the most gold out of this update via farming and via trading. So let's start off. Checking here, um, we have uh, two new dungeons um, which will not have any like big economical impact. Um, there's like some new sets and stuff. Um, more interesting is the update 41 base game where they're saying that there's unified repair kits. This one is delayed though to the next update, so it won't have an effect now. Um, interesting is that there's now stackable siege weaponry, uh, which makes a stack of, for example, 20 cold fire ballistas very interesting to lazy PvP buyers. And I'm pretty sure you can sell uh, those stacks of. Uh, uh, cold fire ballistas for a nice overpriced amount. As well, there's like three new sets from the ro Rewards of the Worthy. Sadly, all three sets are kind of useless, and the light armor set can have some niche fight scenarios where you want to hunt down some people using uh, Oak and Soul, but that's basically it. Uh, anyhow, I think some people will want to collect all the set items quickly. To stay up to date with having all sets so in the first weeks uh, those items of these sets might still sell for a tiny bit of money um, we as well have some more collectibles and stuff increased uh, undaunted key rewards new homes uh, which will not have a big impact what will actually have a huge impact will be new furnishings so there will be 28 new furnishing plants to find an in infinite archive and those will have uh, high prices in the first weeks and can be nicely farmed. So I'd recommend hunting the archive after the patch drops. And you can use a Tamir Trade Center website to see if a plan is new or if not. So if there is a listing of the plan in the first days already, uh, then most likely it's not new. So um, as well, there's a, a seven new master red furnishing plants uh, to buy with red vouchers which we might uh, make a bit of money too. So this uh, is the biggest one and it is basically already it for this update. Uh, I don't believe that there are any other uh, big things uh, changing in the market with this uh, DLC patch. Anyhow, end of the March, uh, there's the Jester's Festival coming. And this one is another uh, experience event, like with a 100% XP bonus, leading to higher sales of Ambrosias and its ingredients, as well as alchemy, enchanting and other master rits to level your character and champion points quickly. More information on this topic you'll find in the video in the description. Beginning of April, then the Jubilee event is coming, for which I will make an own video once it's uh, officially announced, as it's the 10th anniversary and it will be a really big one. Just as a hint already, if you have any crafting motifs stacked up, sell them now, as most will go down in price uh, from April on already. So that's it from me today. See you in time real.